Hi everyone. How was part 3 of this tutorial? Do write your reviews in the comment section. Now in this part, I will show you some exceptions to the use of nicht and kind. So let's have a look. Now, there are certain noun and verb combinations that are used in the German language for which we can use both nicht and kein. And noun verb combinations are Fußball spielen to play football, Klavier spielen to play the piano, Ski fahren or Ski laufen. And note that interestingly in the German language, skiing is she fahren, but we can also say she laufen to mean to drive the ski or to run the ski if we translate it literally. Fahrrad fahren. In English we say ride a bicycle, but in German language we drive. A bicycle. So whenever you see these noun verb combinations, so the noun is coming with this verb together in a sentence or a question, then for these noun verb combinations, you can either use nicht or kind in the negation of the sentences or questions. So if you look at the examples here, Tobias spielt nicht Fußball. You can say, but you can also say Tobias spielt kein Fußball. Similarly, you can say or you can even ask because we can use the negation in questions as you saw in the previous tutorial part. Spielst du nicht Klavier? You can ask, do you not play piano? But you can also ask, spielst du kein Klavier? Again, the meaning, whether you use nicht or you use kein, is the same. But only for these noun-verb combinations. Not that you think that if we say other verb, other than to play, will be combined with these nouns and still we can use nicht or we can use kind then if you're thinking like this that will be wrong only for these certain noun verb combinations you can either use nicht or kind for negation now let's just have a quick look at the conjugation of spielen which is to play and note from this table that spielen is a regular German verb and therefore you will see the typical endings in the conjugation of this verb. For ich, it will be spiele, du spielst, sie, singular form of a person being addressed respectfully, spielen. Er, sie, es spielt. 
Wir spielen. Ihr spielt and sie spielen. So do remember that the conjugation of regular verbs in the German language will seem quite similar as you have seen the conjugations of regular verbs in the previous tutorials also. That was all for today. Any questions related to this entire tutorial, you can ask in the comment section. Please like and comment on my videos and continue watching the tutorials. But also do subscribe to my channel, German Tutorials by Rabia. Thank you.